Immigrants who use public assistance could find it harder to obtain a green card under new rules being proposed by the Trump administration, potentially affecting millions of families who use public federal programs like food stamps, Medicaid, and public housing. Cronkite News reporter Abdel Jimenez tells us more about this public charge policy and who could be affected. They are basically increasing the definition of public charge. And those that are going to be most affected are those immigrant families who live under the poverty guideline. Reaction to the Trump administration's public charge announcement over the weekend has been swift in Phoenix. Lucha, a pro-immigrant advocacy group, says the latest move by the Department of Homeland Security is just a scare tactic for people trying to get permanent residency. But in reality, it's very specific to folks who are trying to apply for residency. So this is not specifically for folks who are already residents. This is for people who are in the process or applying for a U.S. permanent residency. When contacted, local DHS authorities referred Cronkite News to a press release, which reads in part, quote, this proposed rule would implement a law passed by Congress intended to promote immigrant self-sufficiency and protect finite resources by ensuring that they are not likely to become burdens on American taxpayers, end quote. Phoenix immigration attorney Rafael Tirado says these proposed new rules could make people shy away from ever attempting to get a green card. Most clients rely on food stamps, and my clients are basically poor clients. So, so lots of people are going to need to find a probably an affidavit or a sponsor for, for the application. In Phoenix, Abdel Jimenez, Cronkite News.